this is an unboxing video. I really have nothing fancy for you because uh, I'm not a fancy person. Uh, so I've just got this nice little stool that I'm going to go ahead and use to open the box and show you what I got in it. Um, I ordered two things. I ordered my SSHD drive and I ordered a cable so I could clone it, copy it over through USB. And um, they came, I ordered them straight from the Seagate um, website and I bought them off where you'd say add to cart. You have options from Amazon, all these other places. And I used straight up Seagate just because it felt safer to me. So I used Seagate and my packages came in two different boxes at two different times. So I had my cable in one box and I have my SSD drive in another box. And one came to UPS, one came to FedEx, one was delivered in the morning, the other was delivered in the afternoon. But honestly to me it doesn't matter if you could tell. Wear my work shoes. I'm barely getting out of work. Super excited to do this. I don't know what's in this box. What is in this box? Does it say? Does it say? It says Seagate Technology, Michael Araya, my name, my address, my purchase order number. Uh, I doesn't say out here. It says the weight, 0.46 pounds, so that's probably going to be the cable. Let's see right here. Yeah, no, it doesn't say what it is out here. So, let me go ahead. Open this sucker up. And we... Da -da -da -da. Nothing special. Bunch of bubble wrap. More bubbles. Wish I had a trash can. I do have a trash can. Put it in a trash can later. Just added a trash can in my room. Alright, so first thing first, let's go ahead and get over with the paperwork. No, it's not even paperwork. It's just one nice sheet of paper. Which apparently is my my packing slip. This is for the people that work there. I do this. This is I'm not supposed to get this, but whatever. I'm happy. It's wrapped pretty nicely, so it's safe. I like that. Uh, yep, I was right. This would be the cable. This is the back of the box. That bottom part that attaches to the drive. That's what I bought. A GoFlex cable, USB 3.0. Even though it's also 2.0 adaptable, you know, just because you have it says 3.0, it still works on 2.0. And this would be the front of my box right there. Down here. It also says it's available for 2.0. It says it's 10 times faster. See if we then 2.0. I will be the judge of that. I know that the Note 3 has it. Um, my friend has it. Still hasn't checked out the difference. It's supposed to charge it extremely fast. System requirements: uh, GoFlex or GoPro, GoPro Ultra Portable Drive, and the USB 3.0 port. Compatible ability may vary depending on hardware's configuration, blah, blah, blah. Inside this box, I get my cable. See the top, that's what I'm reading from my cable. And a quick starter's guide. So, and get rid of the trash. So, here we have trash still in the way. So, here we have my cable. This is, actually, it's, I really do like this packaging though. So we're gonna put it, the cable aside. And this is obviously going to be my SSHD drive. So hopefully, they didn't mess up my order. It's happened to me before. So, um, the SSHD drive cost me, I think it was 130 bucks, 39 bucks. And then the cable cost me 20 bucks. So then I had to pay for shipping, so all together for this. And I bought the kit, and I called about the kit. They said the kit's nothing special. It used to come with screws, all this stuff. It doesn't come with nothing special at all anymore. You know what, they put the packing list in here, so it probably is supposed to go with me. I don't know. It doesn't say too much. This tells me what I got. I mean, I should know what I got. I should know what I ordered. Should be able to see it. I don't need the paper to tell me what the heck it is. Bubble wraps. I also do this exact same thing at work. And ooh, see, I do this too. Top one, get it in there to fit. 
Seagate, like I said, I got the Seagate one. Um, why did I get the Seagate one and not another one? Um, because I have a Seagate external hard drive and I love my Seagate external hard drive. It's been very ill taken care of, to be honest with you, and it has survived me. So I trust Seagate's durability. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff in the back, what it does. I have a faster boot time and faster access. Adaptive memory technology monitors, free, monitors frequently use data and applications, storing them on solid state memory for faster access. SSD technology reduces your boosting your boot time to mere seconds for a fast cold boot start. Okay. It's exactly what everybody else has been saying and that's what this is advertising. Um, Let's go ahead and open up my cable box. Alrighty. So I'm going to have to clone my uh, it over. I don't want to reinstall or nothing. I'm going to go ahead and try to clone. Um, I don't know how to clone, to be honest with you. This is going to be my first time ever cloning a hard drive. Uh, that's why I bought the cable. They told me I could use my external hard drive. Well, I'll find my earlier, which is this one. Like you can tell it's pretty beat up. It's pretty ill-treated. Um, this one is 350 gigs, if I am correct. Yeah, 320 gigabytes, and it's pretty solid. It's it's uh, likable, so durable to me. Let's go ahead and get this over with. Once again, let's go ahead and get the paperwork over with. Comes with a whole bunch of different languages my warranty i do want to know what my warranty is what does it cover defective material or workmanship and you if it was there messed up probably that's about it if it came to me messed up i'm not gonna shirt coat it yeah quick start guide to my GoFlex cable that's my cable you see this that would be my cable you plug it in to the drive. You then plug the drive into the computer, making it look like that. And that's about it. <laughs> well, this was very straightforward. And I'm happy with it. So let's get that out of the way. Also, it's done, over with, move on. This would be my cable. It, you feel the quality on the cable. It's You can tell it's not a cheap cable. You know, you go to the 99 cent store, you get yourself a auxiliary port. You can tell it's cheap just by the way it feels. Um, they use very thick plastic on this. They want to go ahead and protect it. They, oh, look, they even decorated the inside where I'm not supposed to see. But yeah, no, this is a, a durable cable also. One, once again, the reason why I like Seagate is its durability. So we got my cable. Let's go ahead and get my cable out of the way. Now the truly important part, my hard drive. Let me go ahead and cut this. It has a little, tiny little strip of nice chrome tape there. Um, oh yeah, so the guy with the kit told me uh, the only difference that the kit is, which you're pretty much paying 20 bucks for, is this fancy box and nice enclosure, or else you're just gonna get it pretty much bubble wrap. So I decided to get it in the box and get it to how it's supposed to come to me. Not, you know, it, I felt it was also, once again, safer. I've had some bad experiences with receiving stuff by mail because I decided to cheap out. So this would, should have been enclosed like this. So it, once again, that's pretty dang safe. See that? It doesn't bounce around in there. Even if it does bounce around, it won't hit nothing too rough because it got this to protect it. This would be my drive. A thousand gigabytes SSHD drive. I wish I had a D static or thingy so I could touch it and feel a million times safer about touching it. To be honest, I don't feel that safe, man. I do need the ice cream for it. And it told me to touch metal static goes away. So touching the tip of an auxiliary cable I have. So there you go. Static is done. Allegedly, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, nice. 
thousand gigabyte hard drive in my hand is going to be the biggest hard drive I use for my MacBook Pro. Like I said, I've never changed it before though, so that's kind of technically the only other hard drive I've ever used is what my laptop came with. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here for now. Just for now. And that would be the end of the unboxing video. Um, go to my next video on the link so you can see how I'm going to I think it's called cloning. How I'm going to clone my hard drive to this hard drive via the USB 3.0 port. Don't know if my laptop has USB 3.0, but hey, if it doesn't, I could always use my external hard drive enclosure, so I decided to go for it. 